you can ask for an informational interview. How many people would take a resume with them to an informational interview? No, 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 never, never, never. <laughs> You'll spoil it for the rest of us. If you take a resume to an informational interview, you're going there to interview them. You're going there to ask them questions. Questions that are intelligent questions, not like, what do you do with your day? But questions like, for example, how do you handle the situation where X, Y, Z, whatever. You have 30, 40 questions. If you tell them 20 minutes time, 20 minutes time, you stop asking questions. They can continue to talk and that's great because now they've got an interest. If they ask you for a resume, it was an informational interview. I didn't bring one, but I can send you one tonight and then do it. Can I have your business card? Carte blanche, they give you the business card. You get to call them back and say, did you get my resume? Wait a week, call them back. Put your name in front of them again. Put your voice in front of them again. Guess what? You're reminding them of how good you are at what you did and how good you are at the questions you asked. And if they're intelligent questions and you've done your research ahead of time, you kind of got a leg up. Maybe they forgot about you, but when you go back in a week later on the phone, they go, wait a minute, my friend Sam really wanted to have somebody do this for him. And they connect you. Generalities. I want an informational interview to find out more about TD Ameritrade, what they do. I can do a couple of things. Number one, I can send an in-mail. An in-mail is the internal mail system to LinkedIn. Okay? In-mail is a keyword. Keyword is pay me money. Okay? So if you see send in-mail, you can say, it also says behind it, send LinkedIn money. That's what the that's what the imply implication is there. Okay? Twenty-five dollars a month for three messages. Eight bucks a message. Okay? Let's talk about that. Okay, so I pay the money, I send Greg a nice email wanting to connect or wanting to information out of him, da 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 da. Greg's a really busy guy as a director of regulatory regulatory reporting, man. He's got to deal with the government all the time. Are you kidding me? He's pulling his hair out, which is why he has no hair here. Um, so let's think about that. He's going to get an unsolicited email from somebody he doesn't know asking for information. What's he going to do with it? Delete it. Delete it. So where's my $8? Okay, enough said. So let's, okay. This guy is really good. He's got 500 plus connections. He's a lion, LinkedIn open networker. He's gonna connect to everybody. So I'm gonna click the connect button up at the upper right there, connect to him, say, I'd like to connect with you on LinkedIn, Greg. He's gonna say, fine, great, you're gonna connect it. Now he's level one. When I'm level one, the send email changes to send message. That's also a key. Send message is, oh, I can send him a message for free. Now I can send the same exact message for free. Oh boy, what's he gonna do with the message? get deleted. He didn't know you. You don't have time to help him. So what I really want to do is I want to get introduced to Greg through one of my connections. The subject line, I can put in a body of text. I'm going to send this message off to the person I know, Paul. Okay. So in the body of the message, I can, since I know Paul, maybe he's my best friend, who knows. But I know him, people you know, people you trust, people you feel comfortable asking for help. Okay. I know him. I'm going to ask him, hey, Paul, saw this opportunity over TD Ameritrade, saw that you know this guy, Greg, was wondering if you could make an introduction to him. I'm interested in finding out and be really specific. Here's what I want to find out from Paul. Here's how much time I want of his. I want 15 minutes on the phone to ask him a couple of questions about the environment, the regulatory environment, since he's the regulatory guy, because I'm not sure if I want to get at my, this point in my career, get into a business that's highly regulated by the government. I just don't know. I want to find out more of that information from him. Wondering if you could pass that along. Just a 15 minute conversation. Be real specific on what you want and how much time. Okay? Press send. That message goes off to the person that you know. The person you know, in this case, Paul, now his reputation is on the line. Is he going to stick his reputation on the line with his friend, who might be his best friend, Greg? Is he going to take that opportunity to pass that message along for you? That's why you need that relationship with somebody you know, somebody you trust. Okay? It's really, we can't stress how important that is. Okay? When you send it, he sees what? 
he sees a message that his friend, or Greg gets it, Paul sees a message that I sent to him, and he sees the message that Paul sent to him. So he sees both sides. And by having that personal recommendation, considering it a personal favor, whatever it is, I can give so-and-so my highest recommendation, things like that, words like that. Is this guy going to say no? Probably not. Because they have a nice, they have a nice relationship, and he knows, hey, here's a buddy, buddy of my best buddy needs some help. Absolutely, I'll help him. 